fun. You're going to give me a kiss. No, I don't want salmonella. <laughs> you, think a, you think there is a guy out there with a last name Manila and the first name Sal? <coughs> Paging Mr. Manila, Mr. Sal Manila. Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks. It's Corbin. Rick. The falls. And. <laughs> It's so juicy. When we've been doing reactions for 90 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the day I do that and my dentures fall out. They already have. <laughs> Today, what are we doing, Rick? I don't know, but Betty White's almost 100 years old. Good for her. Today, we're reacting to a video. Uh, and this is, I guess, fitting because the Oscars just were over. It's called Why India Should Send Better Films to the Oscars. This okay. person, I'm guessing, doesn't think a gully boy was a good, was a film. good choice. All right. Um, you know our view, and I still hold to that view that it was a good choice. I think the Oscars just maybe didn't watch it. Uh, or, or potentially care. Yeah. Who knows? But I could also see the argument of why well, uh, a certain film, like Kumbhala G. Nights. Yeah, we've talked about that. We've talked about that would have been a better choice as far as its artistry is concerned mm -hmm. yeah but not so, it, not as in terms of the amount of financing they have to promote right. it correct because you know the, the amount of because in order to do the oscars you have to be able to promote your film and campaign yeah there's a lot of things there's it's a lot not of reasons. just this is a good film that's not enough no sadly it's not no because if it was lighthouse would have been nominated for more than just the cinematography yeah uh it's just it's, you have to have a film that's good enough, and then you have to have people behind it willing to spend enough money to say we want the award bad enough. Yeah. So, so it's the way if it goes. you get smaller industries like Malalium, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, but I'm not saying it wasn't a great film. You know, we love that film. Uh, but yeah, you, and I wonder as well, taking nothing away from Parasite because it totally deserved all of its accolades. But you've got to know that the fact that someone like Quentin Tarantino is a big fan. Uh, and has been following that director for a long time, that the moment he saw that film, if Quentin's telling people in the industry to pay attention to a film, that has a lot of weight behind it. Yeah, it really does. So, okay, I'm interested to see what they have to say. Here we go. Here goes to Parasite. <laughs> Korean movie just made history at the Oscars by winning the best picture. And our Gully Boy didn't even make it to the nominations. That's why. There's no personal problem with Gully Boy. In fact, I absolutely love that film. It is a very important and well-made film by one of the best directors of our time. But sending it to the Oscars, well, ye baat thodi hazam nahi hui. I'm not saying that just because it's a mainstream film, it will be bad. It's not at all important that we are only supposed to send artsy films to the Oscars. If you look at the nominations this year, Joker was one of the most mainstream films of 2019. But it didn't have a mainstream That's message. the highest number of nominations. Other nominated films like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Ford vs. Ferrari, Marriage Story, The Irishman, they were as mainstream as they could be. But these were also some of the best films that were made in 2019. The thing is, we can't say the same about Gully Boy. It is not the best film that we made in 2019. All you rap fans will agree with the fact that Gully Boy followed a plot which was similar to Eminem's 8 Mile. So why send a not so original film to the Oscars? It's not like we haven't seen deserving films in the past. 2018, May, India sent an Assamese film, Village Rockstars, to the Oscars. In 2017, it was Newton. In 2015, it was Chaitanya Tamhane's Court. So what exactly went wrong this year? Asa na, pehli baar nahi hua hai. 2012 mein India sent Burfi as an official submission. Even after blatantly copying Charlie Chaplin films and a climax which was directly picked from the notebook, how did an unoriginal film like Burfi make it to the Oscars? Just to refresh your memory, 2012 mein bhi had much better options like Kahani, Shanghai, Gangs of Asapo. Ye film sirf achhi filmmaking ka example nahi thi, but these were also 100% original. These are just Hindi films that I mentioned. Iske alawa, kitna sara Tamil, Telugu, Bengali, Malayalam, Assamese cinema hoga, jo equally deserving ho. Some of you might think that Baghi or Dabangthi jaisi films ke beech mein we are expecting too much from India. And that Gully Boy is our only hope. But before you come to that conclusion, let me tell you about the films that could have been a way better option for Oscars this year. Dumbad. What a film. Story, production, execution. Sab kuch itna solid tha, that I think if this was more original. Hamara combination ka chance to pakka tha. Super deluxe. This Tamil yeah. film was one of the best films that we made last year. I don't know From if Vijay Setupati's Oscar people would have understood it. Well, and I disagree that it would have been, because I had some, as you know, there were some things with the acting that I really didn't like. The performances, the writing, the direction. 
everything was so bloody good in this film. It derives its narrative from caste system, gender inequality and patriarchy. Everything positioned in such a way to make the audience uncomfortable. Kumbalangi Nights. In this yeah. significant film, yep. Madhu Narayana turns masculinity and patriarchy that would have been a very topic in Indian cinema into of something which saw. is very if we saw before, and laughable. Yeah. Amis. I'm personally a fan of dark cinema. <coughs> so when I got to know about this Assamese film, I was quite excited. But before going to the theatre, I was going to be so much mindful about it. I didn't have any idea. Without a doubt, this was one of the best Indian films made last year. These films might not be a commercial success, but they were surely some of the best films that we made in 2019. There was a time when Mother India was nominated for the Oscars. Hmm. This was the year 1957. The next nominations that we got were for Meera Nair's Salaam Bombay in 1988 and Ashutosh Gwarikar's Lagan in 2001. It's been 20 years and we haven't gotten a nomination since then. Now there might be lobbying or some internal politics at play here, or it might, might just be? be plain ignorance, which we don't consider in our cinema. कुछ तो गड़बड़ आया इन द विनिंग स्पीच बॉम जो वो शेयर इज स्ट्रगल स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ यूज टू स्टडी मार्टी स्कॉलि सिनेमा इन इज कॉलेज डेज एंड टुडे ही वॉज नॉमिनेटेड ऑन साइड टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट सम ऑफ यू माइट थिंक दैट पैरासाइड इज ऑल्सो नॉट डिजर्विंग इनफ टू विन द बेस्ट पिक्चर बट इट वॉज डिजर्विंग इनफ टू स्टैंड देयर विद द रेस्ट ऑफ द फिल्म एंड बिलीव इट अर नॉट दिस इज समथिंग दैट एक्चुअली मेड इट विन अ चांस हू नोज इफ यू सेंड द राइट फिल्म वी माइट एक्चुअली एंड अप विनिंग समथिंग दिस बिग or at least get the deserved recognition with this extremely important win the academy award just opened its door to world cinema yes. it's time to start sending the right statement. films let me know what you think in the comments below and for more such opinions that nobody wants subscribe to india times good video i i i enjoy that conversation i don't uh, fully agree with all of the <clears throat> choices that he said i think they're if you were going for artsy It would have been Kumbalaji Nights, mm-hmm. and I said on Twitter if it was between Kumbala, if people actually watched them both, which they probably wouldn't have. Parasite and Kumbalaji Nights. I think Kumbalaji Nights was a better film than even Parasite, and I thought Parasite was a really good film. Yeah, agreed. Um, but uh, Parasite did something phenomenal, and something I'm very happy for, and I'm hoping it helps propel other industries and the Oscars. Actually, gets rid of their foreign film category because it should just be films, film in general. Not because the fact that it won foreign film and film is kind of a, especially since we have a ten picture category now, and they don't nominate ten films. They've never done ten, even though they have ten. Mm-hmm. So I agree. It's very, it's it's great that they changed it from foreign film to international film. But I I agree. I think the world is small enough and. We should be open to everything. That it should not just be a Hollywood focused, which is what was so beautiful about this Oscars, is that it really opened the door and made everybody recognize that cinema is a global enterprise that should be recognized, But not just from out of Hollywood. It's I'm hoping it's changing because over the past couple of years there's been at least one a year, like basically yeah. one a year that has captured people in certain ways. The first one was Roma. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, if you include. Uh, Guillermo's films. Yes, it, you, technically some of those could be considered foreign, even though right. they're not. Um, but some of his films could be considered that. Um, but you got uh, Roma, which Kumbhala Genetics is way better than Roma. Way better. As uh, is Parasite. But there was that, and then Parasite. Uh, so you're getting these foreign films that people are excited about, but there's usually only one. <laughs> They can't digest more than that. So I'm, I can almost guarantee you. Most people saw that Parasite was in foreign and didn't watch anything else, mm-hmm. and so it, it could have been that this year a Gully Boy could have stood a chance. They just did like, no, nah, it, it's Parasite. You're not. Yeah, we gonna, know it's going to be Parasite from the be. beginning. Everyone was talking about Parasite, um, but uh, it opens the door and kind of uh, one of the things that Bong Joon Ho said in his Gold Globe speech. He said, if people can get past that little one inch. Barrier on the bottom of their screens, right? That open themselves up to a world of cinema. Correct. Uh, which As is we know, that we hope they can. Kumbalaji Nights, I think, would have been a great submission, but also you run into. The, he said there might be political stuff. There's only political stuff at play for the Oscars. Yeah, and I think the Academy possibly took through word of mouth the fact that uh, Parasite is not a safe film. It is a metaphor for some things in society that uh, it makes a pretty strong statement about about mm-hmm. what's wrong. Gully Boy doesn't make a strong statement about something wrong in society, and so from the Academy standpoint, I think that's one of the reasons why it didn't make it to the short list was because there wasn't a social message that was commiserate to some of the other nominees. 
You then have to look at what is the criteria for the people in India that make the determination as to what they're going to submit to the Oscar, <coughs> because that I think is the larger thing right now. Is it's not just the Academy, but why is why is it that Indian cinema has been so underrepresented at the Oscars for so long? And why the only, the last time we ever heard bells and whistles being rung was for a film that most Indians don't like called Slumdog Millionaire. That won Best Picture. Yeah, it was an American film though. Correct. Filled with Indian creators. Mm -hmm. So uh, the people behind it were Indian and the people in it were Indian. Uh, but it was an American made film. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what the criteria is. We had said, and I still agree with this, that one of the things you need to look at is the marketability of a film and the acceptability. But yes, ultimately what the Academy is gonna want is with most of the films that they pay attention to internationally, they look for movies that have statements about something that needs it's, societal change in the country from which it's coming. Especially foreign. Yes, it's, it's almost they, a you are given. given. You are judged much harder in the foreign category than you are in the uh, just the regular the American yes. film. Yes, they're, they're like, okay, you need to say something if you want to see it at the table. Yeah, and I disagree actually with what he said as far as the, um, what was the word he used as far as the, the films that were nominated and he cited Irishman and Joker and said that they were mainstream is what he said, right? Um, I, I consider mainstream to be the Marvel films and the Star Wars films. And Joker isn't a mainstream film. In fact, a lot of people had a problem with Joker because they didn't consider it to be mainstream. A lot of people thought it was too dark and too twisted. But the thing about Joker is it had a message about society in it that was pretty powerful. And if you look at most nominees from international film, you look at the message of the film and the country it's coming from, and most of the time, if the Academy pays attention to it, it's because the film was dangerous. Mm -hmm. It said something that that country probably doesn't want people talking about or knowing about. That's, that's often what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And it also needs to be digestible and understandable for Americans, which I, one of the thing, reasons I think um, Super Deluxe would have been eliminated. Um, if, especially if a bunch of Americans had never seen Indian cinema before, they wouldn't understand a lot of it, and there's a certain part in it that you either love it or you're going to hate it and yeah. turn it off. And that's one of the great things about Parasite is is it it has a universal message that's digestible to American audiences, especially especially American audiences that like dark comedy and like movies like made by Quentin Tarantino, or even fans of Deadpool, where things take a really dark, twisted turn, but it's funny. Um, it Parasite is digestible. Uh, to an American audience, though it's dealing with some pretty specific South Korean but also factors. Bong Joon Ho did have the um, luxury of also being already known. He's done some correct. Hollywood he's been films, around a long time, and he's done some English and films. known by powerful people in Hollywood. So there's that known and respected. So he they did have an advantage there. Uh, yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff, but. I, I, I agree, there, there's a huge un, under-representation. It, it's India, true. It's the Oscars. A, when you consider the quality of films that come out and the number of films every year, India should be a player more every, often every and I'm year. I'm hoping it's changing with the fact that a foreign film has finally won the best picture at the Oscars, yeah. which is huge. Yeah. Uh, something we were very, very excited about. It also opens the door for every country, including India. So. Yeah, and it, it helps, that, as you said, he was known among some movers and shakers already. So I think what it's going to take is it's going to take some people who've already made a name for themselves here. It's why I've Priyanka, consistently brought up Priyanka. Irfan. Yeah. Uh, if, if Priyanka were to get attached to something that has a social message that is touching and tapping into something that is very much a <clears throat> uh, controversial subject matter coming out of India that has global relevancy, that's when you're going to... And has artistic merit that's high. I mean, guys, the criteria, sincerely, for movies to get nominated, it's, it's <coughs> pretty high. It's, yeah. it's pretty high. Yeah, and um, it's even harder for foreign. Yep, it's even harder for a film that's not being made here. Yeah, yep. sadly. But yeah, great video. Uh, liked it a lot. Let us, know, show, uh, let us know what you thought down in the comment section below. What film do you think should have been sent? I know a lot of you think there's a bunch that we saw that should have been sent. Yep. But let us know down below.